Before we begin, I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of this land that we live here today, and pay my respects to the elders past and present. Across the next 45 minutes will be Unbox and Discovery. Our 2024 AB range, which excitingly is available across all major Australian retailers. Last night, you would have received our media materials as well, so all of the information is with you. Please, we do ask that you hold questions until the end of the experience. Find myself, another of the communications representatives, or any Samsung spokesperson, and we can get to it there. So with that in mind, it's my great pleasure to kick things off and introduce Jeremy Senior, who's the Vice President of uh, Consumer Electronics. Thanks all. So really great to have you here today and um, we get to do this every year, launch a whole new range of TVs into the Australian market and this year it's about as uh, big a new news story as it gets. So we're really excited to uh, share with you all today how our range architecture is going to come together and some of the key features and benefits of our new TVs. Most importantly, I'm sure you've all caught on to the buzz of AI and AI is everything and AI is driving the stock market, etc. But AI plays a really pivotal role in our TV lineup this year. So when we go through the displays, you're going to see how we're utilising AI to really shape and define a better picture and a better viewing experience for the consumer. It's not just about how they see the picture, but it's also how they experience the audio and how connectivity and artificial intelligence can help shape an easier life for consumers through having the connectivity of your devices and displaying it directly onto your TV. And the other thing about Australia that makes it a great market for TVs is big screens do really, really well in Australia and this year we're bringing more big screens to market than we ever have before. So we'll have 398 inches uh, launching into the Australian market this year, including our most affordable 98 inch TV launching in June this year. Additionally, it's about ensuring that we have a TV for every viewing experience, for every consumer and for every situation around the home. So if you have a passion for OLED technology, then we have our new OLED TVs here uh, with some enhancements to ensure that they can be used in bright spaces as well as dark spaces. If you want your TV to disappear when it's on the wall, we also have enhancements in our frame lineup to uh, deliver that sort of quality design aesthetic to uh, the TV experience within your home. And TV wouldn't be complete without a really strong audio solution. So we have a number of audio um, products that we're bringing to market this year, including one that we're very excited about, which is our music frame, which is launched in stores, as Matea said, over the last couple of weeks and is available to purchase now. So without further ado, I'm going to walk you through and we'll get on with the show. So this is a, an example of a, a new 98-inch TV for Samsung. So we're, we're very excited about the immersive viewing experience that large screen TVs can bring to the Australian home. And you can just see that you know, with the technology that we're integrating into our Neo QLED TV, it's not just about taking an image and stretching it, it's about taking an image and defining it for the size of the screen that you have. So you can see how the conventional versus the Neo QLED display enhances that sharpness, enhances that motion, and also that brightness. So to help you understand a little bit more about um, our TV lineup and how we're structured for this year, I'm gonna hand over to Anna Susie Drager, who is the head of our TV marketing team, and she's gonna take you through the next phase of our display. Thank you, Joe, and welcome everyone. Now, as Jeremy just mentioned, Samsung has been the number one TV brand for the last 18 years running. Um, and I'm not sure if most of you remember, but it all started in 2006 with our R7 Bordeaux flat screen TV. Now, at the time, it was a pretty revolutionary product. It was inspired, as the name suggests, by a glass of Bordeaux wine. Um, so it's aesthetic, looked like a glass. But in terms of its actual size and, and, and its slimness, uh, it was ve a very big departure from the, the bulky tube TVs of the time. Um, since then, Samsung has really continued to focus on animation. It's always been about driving that ultimate viewing experience. Um, and it continues to do so. I think the best thing that Samsung actually does is focus on putting the consumer at its core, making sure that it's driving and you know, providing products that meet the consumer's needs and wants. So let's move forward now. Great. 
So welcome to a new era of Samsung AI TV. Our 2024 lineup is set to upscale every moment for more wow. Um, and it actually begins with upscaling some of our existing favourite features. The first being Samsung Smart Hub, where you can discover all your favourite content, only this time it's curated and streamlined exactly to your preferences. So it's a nice move that we've done this year. If we can follow me. We've got the anti-glare technology that's obviously on the existing frame and the serif. Um, and this year in a world's first, as you would know, it has now been introduced. On the 2024 S95D OLED TV. Such a beautiful picture, and to the fans, finish that means we can get up style this year is the Infinity Edge display. So, actually, it's this beautiful, distraction free, slim, bezel less design. So, edge to edge image. Um, and actually, you'll be able to see downstairs that it's actually got a, a floating mirror component down the bottom, so you'll be able to see that on the screen, but it's immaculate. Um, but beyond that, and the most exciting feature of this CE is the Samsung AI upscaling. Um, our big focus is on the generative AI upscaling, AI motion enhancer, and also active voice amplifier. So very cool features that the team will show you a little bit more downstairs. Overall though, we've got an amazing lineup for 2024 from all technologies, so Neo QLED, OLED, um, QLED, Crystal UHD, we've got everything from a 98 inch down to our lifestyle and gaming specific TVs. Essentially we have a screen for everyone, for every lifestyle, for every location, for every passion point. Yeah. Lastly, we all believe at Samsung that a beautiful big screen, premium big screen experience definitely requires a premium audio experience and we've got four beautiful lineups when it comes to our sound bars from the Q series and S series which you may have passed B series and C series so there's a product for every TV and solution but on top of that we've still got that those game-changing technologies so that wireless true Dolby Atmos Q Symphony space fit sound so team will take you through more detail but before we do Jeremy will take you through Samsung smart Windows. Um, you know, Anna has, has focused on the design and the, the quality of the picture and some of the enhancements that we've made there. But in our TV lineup in 2024, there are also a number of different aspects that are helping drive a better viewing experience and create an easier life for many consumers. And SmartThings is absolutely one of those. So SmartThings is a Samsung platform that allows you to connect um, thousands of devices through the SmartThings platform to your Samsung ecosystem of devices. So this isn't just Samsung devices. As a member of Matter and a member of the Home Connectivity Alliance, we're a very open source when it comes to this. So you can see here devices across a number of different brands and different categories that can all be brought together. And in 2024, SmartThings has been enhanced. So now the mapping of your home is easier than it ever has been before. Simply utilizing the app on your phone, you can take a photo of your floor plan of the home and it will translate that floor plan into your SmartThings map for the application. That makes it easier for you to put the devices into the relevant, relevant rooms and control those devices, those scenes, those moments that you want and view all of that on your TV. So if your washing machine sends an alert, your video doorbell sends an alert, etc., all of those devices can be personalized and appear on your TV screen. In addition to that, other functions such as Samsung Smart TV Plus allow you to um, have over a hundred channels of fast supported uh, content directly onto your TV. No subscription, just uh, log onto the internet and those channels are there for you to access. So it's really about making sure that we're giving consumers more than one reason to own a Samsung TV moving forward. So given the, the number of you and the uh, size of the type of space we're here, I'm going to throw to Simon Howe, who's the uh, 
director and head of our TV AV business, and Simon's going to take you on the rest of the journey downstairs and into our. So, welcome to uh, Unbox and Discover for 2024. And as Jeremy and Andrew have both mentioned, we really do have a screen, every lifestyle screen, uh, experience an Australian passion point. And 2024 really is no different as we enter the new era of Samsung AI TV across AI picture, AI sound, and AI optimization. And at the heart of this are some Samsung-only features that really create that unparalleled customer value that Jeremy was talking about before. So whether that be Samsung TV Plus, which we will highlight downstairs in a moment, class-leading protection through Knox Security, or as you just saw, simple connectivity thanks to Samsung Smart Lists. So with that, uh, let's head downstairs and experience the 2024 range. Welcome everyone, as I said before, I just want to introduce you to Sam Winkler, who's our National Training Manager here for Consumer Electronics at Samsung Australia. It's going to help me through, uh, guide you through this experience so far. So Sam, maybe do you want to tell everyone a bit of a sneak peek into what we're going to experience uh, as we enter? Thanks Sam, absolutely. Welcome everybody. We're thrilled to have you here today to take you through a new era of Samsung AI and TV. Behind these walls, we have five zones curated to touch on all of the Australian passion points, including sport, art, Music, cinema, and not. Right. Should we head in? Let's go. Well, well, welcome so. to our sports zone. And we know if Australians absolutely love sport, and 2024 is jam packed in terms of the schedule of sport that we have, whether it be the Super Bowl that's just taken place, we know the upcoming Paris Olympics, uh, we've got the Euro finals, as well as locally our NRL and AFL season are already underway. And at Samsung, we know that these these big sporting moments are a real purchase driver for Australian consumers as they look to have the ultimate experience uh, during this period. Our, our sales data shows that we, see, we saw a 28% spike in TV sales ahead of 2023's NRL and AFL back-to-back -back grand final weekends. And these TVs were absolutely put in action. With 77.8 million hours spent watching sport on Samsung Smart TVs in 2023 in Australia alone. And so for this reason, and many more, uh, there's no better TV for watching sport this year than our top of the line Neo QLED 8K uh, QN900D, which you see here. And this really is the pinnacle and the ultimate in our TV lineup this year. And in 2024, Samsung is utilising AI in order to help solve some of the common issues that we see with sport when watching on TV. So for example, in, uh, historically you would see some jutter uh, as some of the balls move across the screen, particularly when you're watching things like soccer, like we're watching here. Well in 2024, we're introducing AI Motion Enhancer Pro that will automatically detect the ball of the sport that you're watching and apply an appropriate algorithm using deep learning in order to smooth that out and, and make it clean across the whole pitch as you can see here. But it's not just about 8K, we also know that Australians absolutely love big screens. That's why here we've got the 98 inch QN90D. Now 85 inch and above for Samsung was the fastest growing segment of the market for us last year. And this year, we're going to be expanding our lineup to have a whopping three 98 inches, including Samsung's most affordable 98 inch uh, model that we've ever brought to market in the Crystal UHD DU9000. Now, Sam, maybe can you give uh, a bit of an introduction into how we're using AI in more detail, particularly across AK and the big screen machine? Absolutely. So, I thought you were going to like QN900 video, but there are 85 inch flagships in the at the core of this TV is our incredibly fast and powerful NQ8 AI Gen 3 processor. This introduces 500 fellow neural networks, that is eight times more than the QN900 in 2023. The MDU is also twice as fast, so your picture and sound has never looked better. Now what's really important here is that processor is powering all of that AI features inside our TV, including AI picture, AI sound and AI optimization which we will expand on in some of our other zones. Now, if you are going for, of course, that pinnacle of our TV lineup, you need to have premium picture and sound, but you also need to have premium design. The QL lines in the D this year has been reduced to an incredibly slim 12.9 millimeters. I encourage you to look at it as you do walk past. Pair that with our edge-edge infinity screen display and virtual no bezels, 
and if your company wants a netbox to conceal all of your cables, you really have the best in terms of design, picture, and sound quality. But maybe 85 inches is not enough for you. This is, of course, where we introduce the QN HD 98 inch. Oh. Our research showed us that 75, sorry, 95% of Australians who bought a 75 inch or larger TV are satisfied with the size of their purchases. Consumers want big screen, but not all big screens are created equal. Most 98 inch big screen TVs just stretch the picture across a bigger screen at megapixels and it may lose detail. Whereas in Samsung's 98 inch TVs in 2024, we introduced a new feature called Super Size Picture Enhancer. Driven by AI, this feature upscales from content, reduces noise, increases sharpness, contrast, and detail to give you the optimal big picture experience of your 98-inch Samsung TV. Now this is all powered by the NQ4 AI Gen 2 processor, which is bringing those AI features to life on a new quality 4K range. But this year, as Simon mentioned, we have expanded our 98 inch lineup. So we have the QN ITV, our flagship 98 inch, we have a QATC, and we also have the new DU9000, our most affordable 98 inch TV ever at 5999. It's more accessible than it's ever been to get Australians into a large TV experience. But if you want a big TV for your sporting moments, you need big sound. That's why we have paired a QN ITV with a Q930D soundbar which delivers 9.1.4 channels of true Dolby Atmos and measure, which means that your phone has been the ultimate levy for all of your major sporting events in 2024. Thanks, Sam. So let's move on to our second zone. So gaming is absolutely booming, and research has found that 81% of Australians are playing video games, and 94% of Australian households have a device for playing them. And that's almost 9.4 million homes nationwide. So whether you're a hardcore gamer or a casual gamer, we really wanted to highlight that we have something for everyone. So in this room, uh, we specifically have our QN85, our QN90, uh, Neo QLED 4K range. In the corner there, uh, we have our freestyle, and that's really critical. We want to talk about how we can bring gaming on the go. Uh, and then of course, for those real hardcore gamers, uh, we also have our, modern, our Odyssey OLED, OLED G9 monitor range, uh, which, which Sam will take you through in a minute. But particularly as we talk about gaming, we really want to highlight our Game Pass, so our gaming hub, which basically gives you access to over 100 blockbuster video games without the need of a console. So Xbox uh, Game Pass, which uh, sits inside our TVs, is there to use, and all you need is a controller uh, to pair to the TV directly. So for those gamers who maybe don't want uh, don't play as often, a bit more casual. Game Pass is a, is a perfect way in which um, we can offer from a Samsung perspective. Now, Sam, can you talk us through how we're using AI to make it easier and better to play games on our Samsung TV range in 2024? Absolutely, can. So, as Simon mentioned, we have the QN85, QN90, DTS. Hello. The previous year, we introduced that game bar, which you have this which you can manually adjust all of your gaming settings easily for your preference. But this year, powered by the industry's four AI Tech 2 process, we just do some new feature called AI Auto Game Mode. Now, this feature uses AI to automatically detect the type of game you play, whether it's RTS, RPG, first person shooter, and it'll optimize the settings to help gaming to give you the performance without you touching any settings. Also, on the 295, this is where we introduce automated technology to give you greater lights, incredible contrast, colors, and detail. Of course, Motion Play 200 to introduce the motion blur and gender to give you a smooth gameplay experience. And HDMI 2.1 support with a 4K gaming at 120 Hz. But if you want to elevate your experience further, you can power the QN Active D further to the left. While being a thinner TV than the QN 85, it also has high brightness and greater contrast, but also introduces 144 Hz gaming on all sizes of the QN 90D. So if you want to have that more wider level of performance if you're releasing gaming on a bigger screen and more immersion, maybe the QN 90D is the right thing for you. Now, as I mentioned, we have the Samsung Gaming Hub to bring gaming to all your own consumers, even on those free starters. So you do have the gaming on the go. All you need is a controller and a subscription, and you're ready to game. And we have our Mobility G9 on the this has Samsung gaming hub built in, so same thing, it will use the controller and the subscription, but it also brings in 240Hz gaming for your higher level PC gamers, but that's the rule. 
For the first time in an exciting update for our industry, we are bringing 240 Hz gaming at 4K to our QN 900D flagship TV. So if you want higher than hard from gaming monitor performance, you can now have that on the best TV on the market, the QN 900D. Thanks, Sam. So let's head on to our third zone, the cinema room. So welcome to the cinema room. So, so far, we've highlighted how we're using AI in order, in order to watch sport, uh, in big screens, in gaming, but we really want to highlight in this room how we're using it from, to give you the most cinematic experience, no matter what the resolution of the content that you're watching is. So before I get going, I just want to introduce Pavel Aktul, who's a world-renowned cinematographer. I'll let him give his big bio in terms of some of the great things that he's worked on. He's going to help uh, give some context into some of the 8K content that we're seeing here. But of course, when we talk cinema, uh, we really want to highlight again the QN900D, which is the pinnacle and ultimate of our lineup here. So perhaps, Sam, before we hand over to Pavel, can you just uh, give us a brief understanding of how we're using AI to to upscale content in the AK. Yeah, sure, so the QN900D we mentioned earlier is powered by an NQ8 AI Gen 3 processor which has 512 year old networks. Now what's important here is what are those networks doing? With the QN900D, it will upscale all of your content, whether it's full HD, HD, 4K, and it'll look at every single little detail, not just sharpening it, he actually looks at the contrast, the colors, the textures of your content and introduces new detail to make your content, regardless of the quality, look better than ever could thought of it. Now, of course, combine that with real 8K resolution at over 33 million pixels, your content will look stunning. But we also have not just AI picture, but AI sound to go with it. If you're watching TV in your cinema room at home, someone's vacuuming around around the home, or mowing the lawn outside, maybe you can't hear the content or what people are saying. We have a new AI feature this year called Active Voice Amplifier Pro. Now this feature analyzes your surroundings, but also the content live on screen, and if it realizes that the dialogue and voices are not enough, it will boost the volume of those voices so you never miss a conversation. Now, if you have a flagship TV in your cinema room for the most cinematic TV experience, you also need cinematic sound. So we have paired this TV with our flagship Q990D soundbar, which gives you 11.1.4 channels of Dolby Atmos sound. Even better, when you combine that TV with our soundbar, you, we have a feature called Q Symphony that utilizes all of the speakers in the TV and the soundbar at the same time to give you the most cinematic audio experience you've ever heard. Thanks, Sam. Now, Pavel, I can never stop watching this amazing content that you shot, but perhaps can you give everyone a brief introduction to yourself and then also talk about um, this content from a cinematographer's perspective and how the TV interacts with it? Thank you. Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Paul Achilles. Yes, I'm a um, cinematographer, uh, accredited member of ACS um, Cinematography Society of Australia. Um, I work across many genres: um, uh, wildlife and nature, with National Geographic, BBC, Discovery, but also on features, um, including James Cameron, um, Avatar: The Way of Water. Um, also, my company um, specializes now in making cameras that are really, really high resolution, up to 18K. And um, this content was shot with those cameras. Um, and the reason is that um, eight cameras do not always have the sufficient contrast at those resolutions for humans to be able to discern it. So uh, my um, paths crossed with Samsung r and in Irwin, California, where they were comparing 4K versus 8K and using 8K content from traditional cameras, so they say, hey, I can't see the difference. Um, so we supplied this content and they say, oh, okay, so now we can, we can see. Um, but from cinematographer's perspective, it's not just sharpness, it's a different way of storytelling. All of a sudden, we have much more information on the screen, it's much busier, so we tend to shoot wider, sit closer, get the screen that's larger than it used to be, and get that immersive experience. Um, I 
Well, I don't try to compare it with um, IMAX back 50 years ago, where they came up with you know format that's 10 times better than anything else. And so, for me, 8K is not just a little bit sharper. It's not a better game. It's a different game. It's something that that provides experience that, that otherwise you can't have when you're looking at a screen like this. Um, you, you tend to be immersed and, and enjoy that, that um, level of detail, being able to explore the frame um, and, and have different ways of absorbing the content. Yeah, and you talk now about AK <coughs> content, but obviously we just highlighted the fact that our new range of TVs is AI and what it's upscale. So for someone that might be watching 4K content and, and utilizing the AI upscaling on our new TVs, how do you find that? Yeah, so essentially um, there are basically two ways of doing it. Um, uh, if you don't have that resolution, in, uh, that sharpness uh, in, uh, in the content, either um, you know, stretch it and sharpen it, uh, which looks a little bit artificial and ugly. You, you get this cookie-cutter kind of look that cinematographers sort of cringe about. <laughs> but, uh, and many viewers probably would too. Um, what Samsung is doing is quite innovative. They, they actually have generative AI. So, um, so it's trying to put the detail that's not there uh, into the content so it looks natural. And, and actually enhances the image with the information that it originally does have. So, so, um, so that's quite an innovative way of, of um, dealing with content that's, that's not up to those standards. Thank you, Pavel. And thanks for being here with us. We really appreciate it. So with that, uh, I might just start through so I can lead you through to our next slide. So from a dark space to a light space. So um, welcome to the Samsung living room. And, you know, our research shows that 45% of Australians say the living room is their favourite room in the house. And on average, they're spending between three to five hours a day in their living room. Now, I bet it's no surprise that the TV is generally the central point of the, of the living room. And we see that with four in five Australians enjoying me time uh, in the living room watching TV, whether that be TV shows, uh, sports, or, or gaming, as we've already spoken about. So three weeks ago, we unveiled the Samsung S95D OLED screen here, um, which is actually the, well, which actually has the world's first certified OLED glare-free technology. And this really is the pinnacle of our OLED range in 2024. And we believe that it's glare-free, that it really is built for Australian conditions. When we think about bright living rooms, bright spaces, and typically, our uh, OLED has been really made for those darker environments. Uh, it's fantastic to be able to show an OLED screen as we are here in a light environment and even simulating a window next to it to highlight that. So here we have a 77 inch S95 and our, once we finish I urge people to come and have a look at this. This is our, our 55 S95D up here. We've also included last year's model without the glare free as well. So you can really do a good comparison and see the difference between, uh, between what the screens are doing when we add the glare free technology in there. But Sam, maybe you want to talk more about the glare free uh, in this room? Yeah, absolutely. So the as I mentioned, this is the world's first OLED certified glare free technology. Now introducing this technology, we're of course are fixing, fixing a pain point for Australian consumers, which is you can have a TV on with great glass but you have lots of light coming in and you can't see that because of the distractions. But of course, we have solved that problem with OLED Glevery certified technology. And these TVs are also powered by a big Q4 and a Gen 2 processor with over 8 billion specially engineered self illuminating pixels. But what's important here is introducing this anti glare technology for OLED Glevery is we haven't sacrificed on color and clarity. Our OLEDs are also for a world first certified by Pantone for color accuracy and skin tones. So you can have the inherently great blacks of OLED, accurate color validated by Pantone, and certified glare free so you have no distractions in your Australian living room. Now, separate to this, of course, we have your premium mutable, but OLED still carries over our premium design. The S95D this year is 11.2 millimeters slim. Also encourage you to check that out as you walk past and you see the anti glare OLED glare free technology. But also it's accompanied by the one thick box. 
to again conceal all of your cables so you can focus on just your picture and no cables are left behind your TV. Thanks, Sam. And so before we leave the living room, um, we spoke about upstairs about Samsung TV Plus. So Samsung TV Plus is available on all of our TVs um, and, and definitely available on all of our 2024 TVs and offer over 100 channels free um, to, our, to our customers. There's no strings attached, there's no fees, just needs uh, internet connection. And there really is something for everyone, whether that be vegetable TV shows, food shows, travel shows, and of course for those sport lovers, um, as we spoke about earlier, there's even dedicated channels for different types of sport as well. Including last year, we announced our partnership with Cricket Australia, and we launched Cricket Gold, which is uh, the world's first cricket uh, fast channel, uh, and really shows some historical men's and women's uh, cricket matches um, that people can uh, log in at any time to watch. So with that, we're going to head through to our final zone Music today. Zone, which, um, first, I want to highlight how we pioneered the lifestyle TV uh, market about seven or eight years ago when we introduced the Frame TV. And really, Australians absolutely love the Frame TV, and we punch well above our weight in terms of the portion of Frame TVs uh, that we sell globally. And in 2024, our new Frame TVs also include Pantone validation uh, and certification, as, as Sam mentioned in the OLED as well, so we know that we're reproducing the color uh, that's expected of it as well as the matte display technology, which we did launch originally in Frame TV, and as we carried over into our S95D OLED. But building on the success of the Frame TV, we are absolutely thrilled to be introducing uh, the Music Crate. And the Music Crate is really blending design and tech together uh, into an incredible uh, speaker. Um, now this speaker can be used in many different and versatile ways, which I'll let Sam take you through in a minute. But just like the Frame TV, it can be personalised. So the ability for Australians to be able to pull whatever artwork they would like uh, inside their music frame, or with a partnership that we have with Marvel, be able to go online, uh, upload their favourite images, and have a full acrylic printing and sent to them directly to their home. Now, Sam, as I mentioned before, these are extremely versatile. They work in many different ways. Maybe you want to take everyone through some of those ways in which we can use them, Mr. Crane? Sure, can. So in here, we have a few examples of how versatile this product is. The first one, which is behind me, is where we have five music frames on the wall set up in group play. So you can have up to five through smart things playing the same sound in one room for your TV or in different rooms throughout your home. Another example of how you can utilize the music frame is up here, where we have two separate left and right for stereo. So if you really want to conceal your audio experience, you can use it in this setup. It can also be used through q Symphony to work with the TV speakers. You can use them for rear ambience behind you. And of course, you can use it as a standalone speaker. Built inside the music frame, we have six separate speakers, two tweeters, two mid-range speakers, and two authors to give you great sound quality without sacrificing on the design. Now there is a multitude of ways to connect to the music frame, whether it is through Bluetooth or through Wi-Fi. It works with Spotify Connect, Apple Airplay, Chromecast, Tidal for high fidelity audio. There are so many different ways to play your favorite audio and music while still personalizing it to your space. And I'm sure you were all dying to hear it. So straight after this, we will be turning them on and demonstrating the different setups for you. So that wraps up the formal tour of today. So we really thank you for your time. Um, but of course, we've got uh, experts in each of the zones that you can go back through and, and we encourage you to do that. But before uh, we start that, Jeremy, would you like to close this off? Yep. Uh, firstly, thank you to Simon, Sam and Anna for uh, taking me through all of the product showcases today. And I think, as Simon just mentioned, I really encourage you to stick around. Uh, we have product experts in each of the zones and they can go into as much detail as you'd like around the product and features. But a couple of key things to, to just remind you is, you know, in Australia, big screen is important. And this year, um, big screen equals 85 inch and above with 98 inch being, you know, a key target for Australians to continue to grow into. Um, connectivity and intelligence is more and more prevalent uh, in our TVs than ever before. Whether it be through smart things and the ability to control other devices in your connected home, or how we're using AI upscaling to deliver the best possible picture and audio experience for consumers, 
Um, there has never been more technology packed into our TV scenarios this year. And no TV solution is complete without the right audio solution. And as was mentioned, we've been the number one TV brand for 18, but we've also been the number one sound device or soundbar brand for the last 10 years. So we're adding to that this year with the music frame, and this is a product that we're really excited about. And given Australia's passion for um, design technology, we see music frame uh, being a, a key success in this market moving forward.